This month, we have been taking an in-depth look at the Lord's Prayer. In today's session, we will be focusing on the sixth element of the prayer. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. No one is excluded from having a battle against temptations. Temptations are real and can have an eternal effect on our soul. That is why we cannot speak this plea lightly as a bland repetition, because we truly need God's help to resist the powers of temptation. How many times have you heard the phrase, don't tempt me? It gets used very loosely today as one or the other receives an offer for a cookie when they are on a diet. It is used when we've made a decision, uh, like buying a car, and the salesman sneaks in one more offer before the final papers are signed to get us to purchase something that's bigger, better, or greater. We say, don't tempt me, in sort of a joking way. Have you ever faced a temptation that could have eternal consequences and approached it with the same superficial sentiment? In the Lord's Prayer, we have a special opportunity to ask God for his help. We pray for help with our temptations because we know that God is more powerful than the devil, who is the author of temptation. Jesus told us in John 8, 44, the devil was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. It is the desire of the devil to separate mankind from the presence of God. The devil entices us to sin by appealing to the weaknesses of our human nature. He exploits our desires, pride, and ego, causing us to doubt and lose faith and trust in God. Through sin, we are led away from fellowship with God. When temptation enters our life, we stand at the summit of a slippery slope where we are faced with a decision. If we allow it to overwhelm us, doubt to overtake us, our human nature can overpower our love for God, and we begin to fall into sin. Let's consider some of the consequences. Our relationships are damaged. We lose credibility. Trust is lost. Sometimes our lives are flipped upside down. And the ultimate consequence of sin is death. How do we battle temptation? by never taking our eyes off of Jesus. Jesus walked the earth just like you and me and was tempted by the full forces of the evil one. He resisted every temptation, lived a sinless life, and went to the cross and died for all of our sins so that we could be set free from their consequences. With the plea, do not lead us into temptation, Believers ask God to help them resist sin with all their strength. With the plea, deliver us from the evil one, believers acknowledge that God is the deliverer and that we can only overcome temptation through him. When temptations push you to the point where you feel like you are not able to bear it, continue to trust in God. He will provide a way of escape. Whether a temptation becomes proof of our faithfulness or a lure to evil depends on how we respond to it. How did Jesus respond to temptation? Let's take a quick look into Jesus' experience in the wilderness. In Matthew 4, 1, the gospel says, Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. This verse tells us that both God and the devil were involved. God is not the tempter, but he allows us to be tempted. By overcoming, we prove to ourselves that with God's help, we can do it. Matthew tells us about three temptations that the devil offered Jesus. Each time, he responded to the offer with a verse from Scripture and resisted the temptation. We can all learn from Jesus' example. When temptation knocks on the door, be armed with the knowledge of the Scripture and the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus' words in John 14, 26 teach us that we can trust the Holy Spirit to help us in times of temptation. Jesus said, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things I said to you. We resist temptation by clinging to Jesus, who has overcome the world. 
We resist temptation by uniting ourselves with God in prayer. Please ponder these verses from Apostle Paul, found in Ephesians 6, 14 to 18. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. When we are able to overcome temptation, we show our allegiance to God and our desire to live a life that testifies to all around us that we are followers of Jesus Christ. Each time you pray the Lord's Prayer, evaluate your sincerity with the petition, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Temptation and Satan are real. They seek to steal our peace and joy and our future with the Lord. Jesus received help and strength from his Father to overcome evil. We also have the wonderful privilege to seek this godly assistance.